After 25 years in the outfitting business, you'd think I would have seen it all. Well, the birds, the weather, and my cooks decided to add more stress to an already chaotic environment this year. But other than early snow, cold front after cold front, and wise adult birds, it was pretty much business as usual. Brace yourselves, everyone. 63 days of craziness are coming. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27-year-old school teacher and said to myself, I'm gonna build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across five million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. Yeah, I mean, we've got a, a load of specks and ducks in here, and uh, there's a lot of honkers too. The honkers are spread out across the, the whole field, typical early season stuff, you know, family groups. They're not not hanging around each other. They don't really want to be right beside each other, but uh, ducks sure are. They're, they're landing on top of each other, piling in pretty hard here, and specks are in a nice big group there, so it's a pretty good deal here. Man, just look at them dumping in here. <laughs> yeah, so some of the other areas are a, a little bit slower right now, but I mean, that's that's gonna change. And once things start getting shot and uh, you know the first set of northern birds comes down, everybody's gonna have birds. But as of right now, man, I'm getting I'm getting overworked here. I've got uh, five, six fields, and we're just watching these ducks pile into this pea field here. Been watching them for three days and. Uh, just, it's good to be back, it's awesome. <laughs> Can't wait to get out of them. Hmm. Not enough. Still pretty early in the season, but things change fast overnight, next day, get new birds in and the family pods start coming together. Cross our fingers. Two more days till September 1st. I don't even see a flight of anything. My biggest hunt hasn't grown. Probably 30 Canadas and a few ducks. Very lean out here this year. Tough start to the year. Um, it's been pretty good in the past, so I guess it's my turn to take my lumps, but not much out here right now. Hunting in two days and nothing to show for it. Two, three, fourth spotting mission and uh, no hunts for me, so work to do. Moving on to the next place. That's what we need, just the influx of birds. I know Daryl this morning had a bunch of Canada's roll in that he didn't have yesterday, so. So things are starting to look up. You always get antsy because, you know, you gotta have all these hunts right off the get-go, but we'll be all right. A bunch of goodies, guys. The funnest part of outfitting. What's in here? Ooh, hoodies. Look at that, nice new Cabela's hoodies. That'll work, eh? Beautiful. Yeah, I try that on. Oh. <laughs> Those are nice. Look at that. Spotting coats, beautiful. New calls from S2. I know Daryl's been waiting on these bad boys. There you go. All right, there you go. Well, that's the one you're getting. So there's spec and there's a snow and I'll give you the matching duck call. Yeah. Jay, did I give you a spec snow? I, oh, you got that? Okay, so these are for Mel. Mel couldn't be here today. That's why this is going so smooth. <laughs> so we're about to start our 25th year here and uh, we're always trying to find the best things to help our job and make, you know, make the client's experience better. So, of course, a bunch of new gear came in and we have to implement it. Uh, new shadow free blinds from Cabela's. Uh, we got some director's chairs that we're gonna put in the upright blinds, which is really nice. Just some great comfort for, for the hunters. Got a whole bunch of new Cabela's clothing. Uh, the guys at S2 Calls, they came on board this year. 
and you know we'll see how they perform and I'm sure they'll do well. I blew them a little bit. They sound great so they'll be they'll be really good. Uh, the other thing we're trying this year is I switched over to some of the lucky duck motion ducks like the spinning ducks. We got some you know the Benelli uh, Super Black Eagle 3's uh, they sent us a couple more left-handers so the, the left-handed clients will be happy and and then uh, we'll be shooting the heavy shot ammo, you know, heavy steel, uh, the heavy snow, some of the actual heavy shot uh, and heavy metal. So uh, we'll see how that all goes and if it performs anything like it did last year, look out, we're ready to have another big year. All right, so there's, there's a whole lot more to outfitting than just decoys and blinds, you know. So I designed uh, these toolboxes to go on top of the flat deck. Gives us more room on the deck, obviously, than a conventional truck box. But it, uh, what's really cool about them, and they're not done yet, we just mounted this one last night, but this, this, these rails are actually hollow, and they fold right flat. And then we can get guns or ATV ramps in the sides, or uh, decoy stakes, extended poles. Uh, and then the hunters, what we'll do is, We'll pull up beside the lodge with the with the, this door down, and then of course they get their guns in there, and then we close it up, and then everything. And then all we have on the deck is decoys and gear, which is really nice. So I'm just putting the finishing touches on this one and getting it ready for paint. And it's a day before the hunters show up, so we're pushing the envelope a little bit. <laughs> Keep going. And we got the good job today. Oh, just cutting some grass. Got to revamp the old blinds, the old stand-up blinds, and made a couple new blinds. So got to regrass them all, redress them all, and then get some willows yet for them. Pretty much a probably a full day process, all said and done. You don't get that much grass for all the whacking a guy does. <laughs> all right, so September 1st tomorrow. So the eve going into a big two months, but of course tomorrow's the big kickoff. Bunch of eager hunters back at the lodge. Fortunately, Daryl's on fire because there's not a lot of other birds around. The rest of us are trying to pick up a few crumbs. I know we're watching some stuff that we're gonna back up Daryl. The other options are out there. Uh, the whole team, I mean, there's six of us on the road right now, and you know, some of us are going, ooh, it's not looking so good in our area. Others are going like, Dale, ooh, I'm on fire. So it's good, it'll all balance out. Always a little bit nervous, and here we go. 63 days of craziest are coming. Awesome, looks like Jeff got another honker hunt here too. This is a pretty good honker hunt right here though. Yeah, this one's looking really good for an opening day honker hunt. 400 of them come in small bunches, two here, three here, four here, 10, 15. Probably one of the targets now. Looks like it's gonna be just the amount of birds that are in it and uh, it makes, makes sense to do it right away. Get it done, we got a group of guys that wants to shoot some big Canadas. They're from the south, they don't get to see too many of them. So it'll be a pretty cool experience for them. Oh, here we go, who's this? Claudio. Hello. Hey, Daryl, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. Um, you're still looking good? Yeah, I mean, some are starting to trail out now. Uh, I mean, it is getting later, like it's 8 o'clock. So yeah. What's your th on that? How many? There's still over, uh, there's about 300 in the field still, but I mean, I've lost about 100 something already, almost 200 probably. They're heading back to the direction of the roost, but there is another feed on the in between, right? Oh, boy. Can you, can, you might want to confirm. Yeah, I would. I'd confirm, because I had that happen one, one year where they they yeah. moved at about 7.30 and they did, did not go back in there the next day, so. Yeah, I hear you. What's the other target now? I'm waiting to hear back to see what Jeff's got. I hear the, the texts are just dinging, so just check yeah. your texts and then we'll know right away. I haven't checked. Sounds like Jeff's, yeah. Oh yeah? Good. Yeah, 200 hogs. Uh, couple hundred ducks anyways. Well, good. Okay. That's okay. that's not a bad one. No, I think that is a good one. Yeah. I'll, I'll have a look as soon as I button this up. Yeah, all right. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.
Okay, so uh, Daryl just called, and what happened was is we, we have two hunts over there. One's a hawker hunt, one's a combo hunt, and the landowner is fencing the quarter so he can put his cattle in, and he says, no problem, you can go in and hunt even what the cows are, but it will mess up the birds a little bit. So rather than let time let that happen, I think what we'll do is, is Daryl just go in and hunt. It's got like 400 big candas, so he's very confident anyway, so it's just they probably won't kill ducks. We'll worry about that in the afternoon, you know? And I'm gonna go check another duck hunt right now, which isn't too far away, so if he just kills geese in the morning, I'll likely be hunting the ducks in the afternoon, and life will be good. Kill him. Get him. Hit him again. Hit him again. Get in front of him. That bird is right in your face. He flew away. Wow. Let's see what's going on this morning. So, good luck, boys. Uh, Jeff, Jeff's done his duck, so that's good. And, ooh, Daryl, geese not moving yet. Ooh, that was a little while ago. So I hope he's got geese moving. So this is interesting. Um, Daryl uh, says he's got no geese moving yet. We're all driving around seeing geese in the field. So we may have a disaster on our hands, and we haven't heard from him in about uh, 20 or 30 minutes. So hopefully he's busy getting a bunch of shooting done otherwise, and there's no ducks on his hunt, so otherwise, we got a little bit of a disaster going, and if it stays wet and rainy all day, these geese are not gonna leave, which won't give us much opportunity to shoot them in the afternoon. So, see what happens here, I guess, and uh, hopefully it goes well. Uh, I'm always nervous when the guys don't shoot anything, especially on opening day, they're not good. Not good, lunch will be quiet today if we don't shoot a bunch. Off to the next spot. Let him in tight. Shoot him! Everybody shot at the single that was in the middle. Shoot them! So opening day and it's about, I don't know, nine o'clock or something, three hours into it. And this rain has absolutely made a mess of things for us. So uh, Daryl's about halfway done his geese. So he's got about 20, no ducks. Jeff has all of his ducks. So he's got four guys, so 32 and about 15 geese. This rain has just messed things up. All right, so we had some rough weather this morning and uh... We're finally getting a break right now, but uh, the guys want to pack up, and I'm seeing a bunch of birds flying, so we're going to cut it short at uh, 24 specks and honkers and uh, head back to camp, get them back out this afternoon. Just just a messy opening day. Uh, it's not the conditions we prefer, but uh, we still kill birds, and you know we've got the rest of the day still. So I'm about to witness a guy and his wife about to blow up this roost, which is feeding our afternoon duck or duck and goose hunt. So this guy here is going in there after I've spent three hours watching birds in a field, trying to interpret, figure out what's going on. And then you find a couple of 
of guys that just want to go and, and puddle jump it. Oh, here it goes. Guns up. Oh. Well, that hunt's gone. They shot maybe 80, 90 yards at birds on the water. One shot, didn't get anything. And now all the birds are gone. So that's that. Time to go greet the hunters, I guess. Can't cry over spilt milk. Kinda sucks. So our field's right over here. I watched this all morning and uh, gonna put Claudio in on it. Uh, and I'm gonna keep spotting this afternoon, but uh, there was a pile of ducks in here this morning, a few geese. We're targeting ducks this afternoon. Hopefully they do get a few geese, but I think they'll be finished before the geese ever show up. But it should be good. I'm just gonna take him in and then uh, we'll show him what I've, what I've seen so that he can make his own decision on where he wants to set up. So this is where they fed yesterday too, up, over, and down. Right, and, and this morning all I could see was the heads from the road. <laughs> A few heads, they were all on this side. Like right there? Yeah. I'd set up like just down from that and have them come. That's what I'm thinking. Well, I'm gonna have a look right here and then figure it out. Okay. Basically, it's fairly windy. So in order for the, give these guys good shooting opportunity, rather than shoot them in the face and have the birds flare hard on us and go downwind, we let them get past up over the roboducks and then they should actually come in the ground effect and as they start to climb to settle into land, Boom, we'll, we'll call the shot and they'll be just past the blinds and then they fade back through the shooting lane so you almost get double opportunities. It's really cool. And if it doesn't go good, guess who's in trouble? <laughs> Drill him, boy! Drill him! Nice. That was nice. Those were right there. Seven. You think that's the best play? Well, I think so. I, th I think so too, right? Okay, I just wanted to check with you. Well, I mean, yeah, those those guys, so I can't believe they did that I to know. us again. Yeah, yeah that's good. brutal. Brutal. They obviously don't care about our program, you know? Okay. Yeah. All right. You know. It's done. All, All right. right. Kate, right on. Bye bye. Let's go. Yeah, Good thanks. Bye. 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 Those guys screwed that hunt up again. Mel had it all buttoned up and they shot the pond, those same guys, unbelievable. So anyways, uh, you know, today is weird. I mean, these, these birds, I saw them feed here last night, Mel saw them feed here this morning, and they just did not come to the party tonight. And, you know, I mean, I, I don't like it because it's opening day and I've been sitting in this blind since 2.30, not a lot of fun, but uh, I mean, that's why we're always we're always nervous going into a hunt. You know, you think, oh, you get 2,000 mallards, lots of margin for error. You know, I don't think we saw 200 tonight. So uh, the ones that came did it. We killed enough, and uh, they shot decently, but uh, a little bit short. And then the boys are scrambling a little bit this, for tomorrow morning. I think we're doing probably two of Daryl's hunts, so he kind of saved the day. The only bad part is burning up his fun, hunts faster than he can find them. But anyways, live to fight another day, and that's how it shook down. Now it's day two and we're out in this field here. Uh, it looked good last night. Lots of ducks, uh, mixture of geese, another pea field, second day of the season. It should be a lot of fun. Kill them! Sick. That was pretty good. Hey. Oh yeah, baby, yeah, yeah, I got him. <laughs> Big, big group over the sun coming too. Kill them! Out the side! Deep. Out the side! Nope. 
Dude. Right here, buddy. Good boy. Shoot him! Hey. Cut into him hard. Cut into him hard. Get him, get him, get him. Yeah, baby. Back. I got it, No way. Good boy. Here. Shoot him, shoot him. Yes. Hey. Hey. Man. Shoot him. What the fuck is happening over there? <laughs> Kill him. Peek. Good shot. So we ended up with 40 uh, ducks and uh, eight honkers today on this hunt. Uh, it was good, lots of fun. We took our time, kind of pick and choose which uh, ducks we wanted to shoot. And uh, the guys had a great time, lots of fun. Uh, these guys here, they like to have a good time out in the blind. Uh, it's a lot of fun hunting with these guys and that's what it's all about, you know. Bit of a scramble last night. Uh, some hunts got blown up by uh, some other hunters. They blew up some roosts and uh, screwed up some of our, our field hunts that were using those roofs and uh, it all worked out. The hard work paid off. We're uh, right back in the swing of things here and it's going good. So it's been a, a crazy start to the season. I wouldn't call it the best, but uh, you know, we have some of Alberta, if not Western Canada's finest on the road every day. And, and it was a big scramble with a great team to put it together. And uh, we're doing well, you know, and Daryl Darryl wrapped it up with, uh, with a great hunt this morning. Uh, despite the new duck man, I like, I love this guy. I love this guy, especially when he looks like a Drake Mallard. That's beautiful. I'm here on behalf of those ducks that are, are migrating down from the Northwest Territories. Okay. Um, I understand you're the guy to talk to. I am, I am. I am, how'd you like to be hanging feet up or neck up on the, on the rock? Yeah, yeah. We just have to spread out the nails a little more yeah, for you. Yeah, 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 good? Yeah, yeah.